Gamers, we've got our hands on the brand new iPhone 15 Pro and today we're talking about the action button. And we're gonna show you how it's a huge game changer for controlling your smart home. So keep watching. Also, we've got Ian here. Thanks for dropping by. Of course, malakas ka sa akin, Bea. And you know what? That like button is just as cool as the action button. So make sure to go ahead and smash it. And you know what? While you're at it, comment and subscribe. Okay, so before we talk about the action button, let's take a quick look at a few other improvements that the iPhone 15 Pro has made. First off, it's the fact that the frame is now made of extra tough titanium, which is an upgrade over the aluminum they used to use in other models. And like the base iPhone 15, it also uses a USB-C port, except that the Pro's port also supports USB 3, which means up to 20 times faster transfers. This is a very big thing because now you can use SSDs. The iPhone 15 Pro is also a big gaming upgrade thanks to its A17 Pro chip, which has a 6-core GPU. And games run a lot more smoothly and look fantastic on Super Retina XDR display. So if you are a Mobile Legends player, CODM, Wild Rift, this one is a very good upgrade. Plus, there are AAA games that will be released soon such as Resident Evil and Mirage. So you might want to look out for that. What I really love about the Pro Camera system is that it adds a telephoto lens on top of the 48 megapixel main camera and ultra wide lens. Now it also comes with ProRes log recording, which gives you more options for shooting high quality content and more flexibility when it comes to color grading. And now for the main event, the action button. So yung mga ibang iPhone model may mute switch sa gilid, di ba? The iPhone 15 Pro replaces the switch with an all-new button that lets you access shortcuts to different features on your phone. So kunwari, you want to turn on your flashlight. Just hold the button and okay na. The iPhone 15 Pro comes with all sorts of preset actions for the action button, like changing your focus mode, opening your camera, or even recording a voice message. But what makes this so good for smart homes is that it's also fully customizable. It just takes a bit of getting used to because you'll have to use the Shortcuts app, which kind of feels like programming, but once you get the hang of it, the possibilities are literally endless. And to show you that the possibilities are endless talaga, we want to show you some of the shortcuts that we created to control your smart home. Tell us in the comments if you want us to make tutorials on how to set up all of these actions. And now, on to the show. Lights, camera, action button. The first na we set up na action is to turn on movie mode sa TV and lights. Because I want a cinematic experience whenever I watch movies, even on TV. Lang. Yeah, and what a TV this is, right? This is the 85-inch 4K TV from Sony. This also runs in Google TV, but it's compatible din siya with the Apple HomeKit. So technically, I can control it with the iPhone 15. Yeah, then what we did with the action button is to change the ambience of the lights when we're watching movies. So for example, the TV is connected to my Sony HT-S2000 soundbar. And then when we press the action button, the TV turns on with all of the smart lights, which are the Yeelight Bulb 1S, the Yeelight Light Strip, and the Mi Bedside Lamp 2. And here is what it looks like. Hey. How about we take the action button to the next level pa? Oh wait, are we gonna be playing with the Actions app? Yup! <laughs> Your Actions app is an app that unlocks even more options for the action button. It allows you to change what the button does based on certain conditions. For example, you can set it so that when your phone is in portrait orientation, the action button lets you write a note. But when you press the action button while your phone is on landscape, you can take a photo or a video. What? You can get really creative with the conditions. One of the options kasi, is to check whether or not you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. And depending on that, the action button can do something different. So if I'm outside and on mobile data, I can set the button to take photos. And when I get home, and I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, I can press the action button to turn my TV on. So, diba, sobrang customizable talaga ang action button. Definitely. And what it does is really all up to your imagination. As long as you can set it up, you can make it happen. 
Okay, final thoughts on the iPhone 15 Pro after using it for the entire day. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought at first that it was gonna be kind of gimmicky because shortcuts have been around for quite some time. But after using it today, I kind of see the purpose of having a customizable button or a dedicated customizable button. How about you? What do you think? I think it's very useful, especially to people who like smart devices because mm. you can put one preset and it can act as a power button on an off switch. That's true. That's true. Now, I think the limitation is, as of the moment, because it's pretty new, is that you can only do one. Yeah, you can right? only do one. At a time. But it's something that we believe is easily updatable in the future. So there is a lot of potential with it. Yeah. So tato yung sinabi namin kanina na there's a lot of potential when it comes to having and customizing. But maybe in the future Apple will probably add more. Yeah. Probably add more gestures and more use cases to the button. But overall I think as a gamer I think this is a good upgrade as well because um, it's lightweight. Yeah, and you know what? With the new chip, it's it's one step forward for Apple to get into the gaming and, and to cater to gamers as well, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Pretty good. Pero kayo, what do you guys think about the action button? And what are you gonna use it for? Share it with us in the comments. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you again for coming by, Ian. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Catch us again next week for another new episode of The Next Upgrade. We drop a new episode every Sunday. Ka hit that bell button na and para ma notify kayo sa mga new episodes for our next upgrade. And watch out for more tips on our YouTube shorts where we do a lot more stuff with the iPhone 15 Pro. As well as visit the nextupgrade.ph to learn more about the action button, as well as other devices we featured in this episode and smart homes in general. See you, neighbors. Bye.